YTBC What's the Deal. I remember watching this dude against Curtis Stevens a long time ago, before the Super Six. Even watched him on Showbox a time or two. Um, Andre Derail, he looked good tonight as far as getting the win. <clears throat> I mean, he had to dig deep a little bit and, you know, bite down on his mouthpiece and uh, pull out. A decisive but competitive 10-rounder. Got knocked down in the second round. Um, he was hurt. You know, he, he was hurt. It was a legit knockdown. It wasn't a slip. He got clipped, and then he got up, and he uh, finished out the round the second. In the third round, he was getting the better of Caparello, putting him against the ropes, uh, backing him up. You know, and it's funny. You know, I say I, I remember the first time I seen him. I forget if, if he was on Showbox or... Uh, boxing at the dark one of the two but i know he fought curtis stevens and in that fight you know when i first started to see him fight he was known as a slick boxer type you know fight off his back foot make you miss counter pot shot you easy decision you know win fights like that but uh he likes to sometimes you know if he doesn't respect your power or respect you he'll put up his high guard and try to come forward and walk you down and uh he was doing that with caparello and that what was getting him hit with that left hand he just kept getting clipped with it, and he tried to switch to orthodox. He kept going from orthodox to southpaw, Caparello southpaw. Um, in the first round, when Caparello was trying to come forward and trying to fight at a distance, it wasn't working. But then as soon as Darrell just didn't really respect him, he started coming forward. That's when he started getting clipped with that left hand. Um, I think he's better fighting off his back foot, but I guess he felt as if he had to do what he had to do in this fight. And that was Walt Caparello down. When he got hit with that left hand, it looked like uh, his way to deal with it wasn't to try to slip it or roll with it or duck. His thing was just step right to Caparello and just take it away from him. And that's what he did. But Antonio Tarver during the telecast kept saying that uh, he's smothering his own work. And he was smothering some shots, but I just think that that's just his way of dealing with that left hand was just to step right to him and take it away from him. I'm just a fan. What do I know? Maybe Tarver was giving him the correct advice. But in my opinion, he just was stepping right to him, taking it away from him. Uh, he was landing some good body shots. Um, I thought he could have fought off his back foot a little bit just to not make it a the type of fight that he did. You know, a physical fight. And Caparello, although he doesn't have a lot of knockouts, he's the, you know, the naturally bigger guy. Being that he's only been fighting at 168 for, what, a few fights. He's a career, you know, light heavyweight. So... He was slipping shots. You know, there were some rounds. They were competitive, but I thought they were decisively won by Darrell. I thought he won every round, but except the round that he got knocked down in. Um, you know, Caparello, you know, he'll turn up the activity, but Darrell was making a miss um, for the most part, landing the more accurate shots. Caparello looked like he was looking for that left hand after he knocked Darrell down, got a little bit of confidence. And it looked like he was looking for that left hand all night. And then uh, once Darrell stepped to him and took it away from him, it was e easier for him to time the left hand as the fight went on. Some of the left hands were sloppy, off balance. Um, I was reading some comments on some forums I was on after the fight, and people think that Darrell looked like shit. I wouldn't say looked like shit. He just had to do what he had to do. Caparello, not like he's some dude that's been knocked out seven times. I mean, Kovalev got him out of there, but that's Kovalev. You know, rather than that, he's, you know, he hasn't been stopped. So, uh, I don't think Darrell looked like shit. He had to go in there and just, you know, bite down his mouthpiece and get it done. Yes, getting knocked down, getting clipped by a guy that only has a handful of knockouts. It doesn't, you know, look good, but he got up and won the fight, man. He could have just gave up or got beat, you know, but, um, 160 is going to be kind of tough, man, for him to try to get a title in this division. But uh, we'll see what happens, man. He has the ability. I definitely believe Darrell has a lot left in the tank. Uh, but him coming forward and being the aggressor, I you know, I, I don't know. Maybe he, he just did it this time because he didn't really respect Caparello's power. But uh, I like to see him not necessarily moving around the ring the whole fight, but just moving, just using, you know, his gifts, man, his good footwork when he uses it. Um, he has fast hands, good counter punching ability. Tonight looked like he was standing straight up a little bit, but he can bend at the waist. I mean, I like to see him just, you know, do what got him here, man. You know, turning, turning and boxing a little bit when he has to. Um, 
Because you can walk guys down and not just walk them down and try to get right up on them and get physical. Because he was walking Caparello down a few times where he'll walk them down, but keep, a, you know, he'll keep distance. And then Caparello would, you know, think that while that uh, Darrell was walking him down. And then Caparello would try to lead after being walked down. Well, really, that's uh, Caparello leading. Although he got walked down, he decided to lead. When he came forward on Darrell, then Darrell just stepped back, pow, hit him with a counter. You know, so I don't know. It was an interesting fight, man. There's a lot of little subtle things going on in the ring that I was noticing. But good fight by uh, Andre Darrell. Want to see more of him. YTBC. I'm out.